Hi everyone, so today I'm making cauliflower bread. I've got 300 grams of cauliflower that I've blitzed up. I'm going to add to it two eggs and then all my dry ingredients. So for my dry ingredients, I've got half a cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of linseed flour, a quarter cup of coconut flour, I've got two, te two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of mixed herbs. So all of this goes into my blender over here. I've got all my ingredients and in. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of olive oil and whiz all of this up together. I've blended everything together. Now what I'm going to do is just spray and cook my loaf tin and add my batter into the pan over here. I've got my cauliflower bread into my loaf tin. I'm going to now top it up with some ultimate seed mix, which adds an added protein um, and added fats as well. So this is a low carb bread. And um, this now goes into the oven for 40 minutes at 160. My bread's been in the oven for 40 minutes and it's time to take it out. So guys, this is the cauliflower bread that I baked. My loaf pan um, is a little bit wide, so if I had a smaller loaf pan, it would rise a little bit higher, it would be double the size. Um, but I'm quite happy with it, it looks really delicious and it's crispy. If you are planning to make a low carb bread, then this is really delicious. It's really soft and moist and crumbly at the same time, but full of flavor. Um, high in fat, but low carb. I'm actually gonna pop it into the fridge and then eat it over a few days with breakfast or as a snack. Um, but I'm really quite happy, quite an easy recipe that you can actually make at home. Shaz eats, enjoy.